Greetings, welcome to this new video about dependent source circuits analysis solve the problem number 5. Let's consider this network that presents a simplified transistor circuits consisting of three resistors labeled R1 through R3 along with one independent voltage source Vs. Additionally, we can observe the presence of a dependent source, especially a current controlled current source. The question now is to calculate the voltage V. Let's move on to the solution. We are going to apply the mesh analysis method to solve this problem. First, let's begin by defining the number of meshes in this network. It's evident that there are two meshes. This is, is mesh number 1 and this is, is mesh number 2. Now let's proceed to assign the mesh currents in this network and I will consider I1 is the current in mesh 1, I2 is the current in mesh 2. Both currents are chosen in the clockwise direction. Let's start first by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 1. We can write negative Vs plus R1 I1 plus R2 I1 minus I2 is equal to 0. By replacing the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values, we obtain negative 47 plus I1 plus 2 I1 minus I2 is equal to 0. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative 47 plus 3 I1 minus 2 I2 is equal to zero and I will call this equation one. Let's focus here we can see that I1 is equal to I. If we replace that in equation one we obtain negative 47 plus 3i minus 2i2 is equal to zero and I will call this equation A. Let's move on now to mesh two we can see here in mesh 2 that I2 is equal to negative 400I and I will call this equation 2. By substituting equation 2 in A, we obtain or we derive one equation, one equation only in terms of I. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative 47 plus 803I is equal to 0. That means I is equal to 47 over 803, we get uh, I is equal to uh, 58.53 nanoamps. Let's move on now to V. According to Ohm's law, we have V is equal to negative R3 multiplying by 400I. By replacing I and the resistor R, R3 with their numerical values, we obtain V is equal to negative 117 millivolt. After we finish calculation, we have done or we conduct a simulation using a SPI simulator to verify our results. Now let's proceed to the SPI environment. Here is our network drawn in SPI simulator. This is, is our independent voltage source VS resistor R1, R2 and R3 and this is, is the current controlled current source. Now let's move on to ana analysis. This say analysis calculate nodal voltage. We can see here that the current I is equal to 58.53 nanoamps is exactly the same value we have done by calculation and the voltage V is equal to negative 117.06 millivolt is also the same value we have done by calculation. Alright, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time in another video. Take care and bye bye.